All right, so far we've been working with Q plain text edit, and well, it's pretty plain. We're going to switch gears and we're going to work with what's called the Q text edit class. What's the fundamental difference here? Well, Q text edit is a class that provides a widget that is used for both editing plain and rich text. Whoa, and rich text? What does that mean? That means we can do things like bold, italic, underline, insert tables, uh, actually custom widgets, pictures, whatever we want. Admittedly, because this is a beginner's course, we're going to scratch the surface of what this thing can do, but we're going to spend this entire section building a fully functional rich text editor. All right, first things first, we have a very bare application. This is just a Q main window. I've already gone through and did the new next, next, next. There's absolutely nothing in this whatsoever. It's just very, very basic. This video is going to be all about setting up the user interface and to be brutally honest, you can probably fast forward or skip through most of this as it's just going to be me wiring up the plumbing. But if you want to watch, feel free. So first things first, we need to go through and we need to add some images here. So I'm going to paste those and there are a lot of them. So this is what I mean by we're really just scratching the surface. We can do things like find, replace, font, uh, justification, bold, italic, underline, you name it. Zoom in, zoom out. It's pretty cool, actually. So let's go in here. Add new. Next, next. And let's go prefix slash files. Just going to add all those images in there. Give that a good build just in case. Now I'm going to say file. And we're going to go edit. You notice how I switch gears. Usually I just start drilling down. I'm actually going to slow it down just a smidge here. So this is really what you'd call a standard editing format for menus. We've got file, edit, view. Um, you can see there's file, edit. They don't have a view here up in Cute Creator, but you can see how there's usually a specific order. And that's you know really up to you on how you want to do that. But it's it's a good standard that you should really adhere to. All right, so we've got file, edit, view, text and about. So let's sit here and go new. And let's say exit. Let's grab that separator, move it up one. And let's actually add another separator. Move that between the new and open. And we can go ahead and we can flesh these out right now. And there is a lot of stuff in here. So I'm going to actually filter on some of these if I can't find them just very, very quickly. I mean, you can try scrolling down, but you'll just fly right over it just because there's so many icons. And this would, in case you're wondering, would be helpful to actually branch these out into different folders based off what you're trying to do here. Larger applications, that's actually what I do do. Let's say save as. Looks like those are in there and they're good to go. All right, let's fill this one out. We're going to say copy, cut, paste, find, replace, and let's add a separator. And let's say select all. Let's add these icons in here. Skipped over one. Let's go to paste here in a second. So we've got copy, cut, there we go. I'll say find. And 
looking for a place here. Ah, there it is. Couldn't tell just by the icon. There's select all. And sure enough, there they are. Let's go to view, type zoom in, zoom out. So we got zoom in, zoom out. Let's fill this one out. We're going to say bold, italic, underline. We want to strike through. We want to be able to set the font color. Let's add another separator here. Let's just call this font. So we got bold. Italic. Underline. Strike through. Actually, colors right there. So that menu is looking pretty good. And then we're going to just say help and about. Looks pretty good. Save and run, and let's make sure everything looks the way we want it to as far as menus go. Looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and add some toolbars in here. So we're going to add a toolbar. Let's just move this bad boy up here, make it a little easier on us. We're going to say new, open, Save, save as, let's go ahead and append a separator here. Say copy, cut, paste. And then we're gonna actually just put in some basic uh, text manipulation here, like bold, italic, underlying, etc., etc. So let's actually just add another toolbar. And you notice how on my system, it just adds it right here. On yours, it may drop it down one, but it's actually right here. And what we might have to do is actually scale this out a bit. And then we're just going to say bold, whoops, italic, underline, strike through. I'm going to add a separator. So we want to add the color in here. Let's append another separator. And let's say font. Save. And let's move this down. And we want the text edit instead of the plain text edit. So let's drag the text edit in here. And let's flip into our code. Ah, we need to build this. That's the problem. Build. And we got a successful build, so we're going to central widget and there's our text edit save and run and let's see what this looks like looks pretty good now one special note if you stuck around and watched this whole thing you see these little arrows this is what happens when you scale it too small and it just continues the toolbar let me bring that back on the screen here 
You can also grab these toolbars and move and dock them if it's not convenient. That's why you'd split it out into multiple toolbars. So you could say, hey, I want to do a file toolbar and then the format toolbar. And you know what? Maybe I just want the format toolbar down at the bottom. Any way you want to set it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of a larger project out of Udemy called Cute Widgets for Beginners with C++. This is a large course with 73 lectures and 17 hours of video footage. This course covers everything from what is a widget all the way down to complete example applications using the skills you've learned in this course. Sorry, there's no QML in this course. This is strictly cute widgets. I will make a QML course later on, but this just focuses on widgets from a beginner's perspective. Even though this is a beginner's course, you do need to have some fundamental information available. You need to know C++ and the Qt Core Libs. I do have some courses available out on Udemy, Qt Core Beginners, Intermediate Advanced. It's not necessary you take these courses, but it is highly recommended. And as always, I'm available out on the Voidrooms Facebook group, along with 3,000 other programmers. See you there.